We haven't spoken about COVID for a little while, and um, I just thought I'd bring this up because of um, uh, long COVID being a thing um, that um, was obviously identified, you know, relatively early on in the piece is still a thing um, for some people. Um, and obviously, it, it, COVID's come to mind recently for me only because um, I'm starting to hear... Um, it's like anything, it goes through waves and then you start hearing more people have caught it um, of late. I've, I've, and I've personally heard that. Um, there's been quite a few more people that have caught it. Um, but it, it comes back to um, this idea of um, what is COVID doing to the body, etc. And, and I know that there's research that's continually ongoing and hopefully we'll have more answers as years go on because this is kind of painstaking, slow work to try and determine how a, um, a brand new um, virus, at least for us, <clears throat> is how is it interacting with us, you know, with our bodies, etc. Um, this particular story about how, um, uh, you know, doing full body scans and seeing the long-term effects um, of COVID on the body was quite, well, seemingly alarming from what I saw in there. Obviously, it's about certain types of people and their reactions. Um, the immune response probably um, over kicking itself maybe um, and trying to deal with COVID um, and it's just a, a further highlight again of just how um, uh, in a way bizarre the illness is in terms of its effects like it's not like uh, you know like the cold or flu where you know we all pretty much have the same reaction you know um, normally speaking um, and uh, it's just a, a very strange illness and hopefully we get a lot more definitive um, information and knowledge from the research that's being done at the moment on this. Yeah, totally. I mean, the immune system is a finely balanced system and uh, it's there protecting us every day. And if, if we didn't have an immune system, you know, we'd probably be dead within a couple of days. You know, the slightest infection or, or disease would just just take us out so it's very important and obviously with COVID and long COVID I guess what it is I don't think it's actually COVID over a long period it's an autoimmune disease or an immune dysfunction that's created by the initial COVID infection and obviously there's something going on there in some people who are predisposed to it and it just maintains that inflammatory response from the immune system. And that manifests itself in a, in a lot of serious ways for some individuals. I mean, I think we should emphasize here that for most people, you know, long COVID and, and the debilitating effects of long COVID are just simply not an issue. But if you're predisposed to it, this can be a very serious uh, matter. And, and I would suspect that there's a significant proportion of the population and maybe this is just uh, a condition that's been highlighted by COVID but a lot of other people uh, you know put up with this as well I think triggered through other other illnesses so it's, it's quite serious and it's amazing to think that you know uh, we hadn't heard of COVID now even five years ago and yet it's changed pretty much just about everything in our world. It's funny you mentioned that sort of time frame because um, in reading this particular story, I um, went back um, back in time just to uh, recap um, just some of the news articles that uh, came out during 2020 and just how strange a time we all had, um, particularly March 2020. I'm just reading some of the news articles from back then. Um, I also went back through and uh, had a look at um, some of the, um, the news clips and articles that were running um, during Melbourne's lockdowns in particular um, and just, you know, having flashbacks to, um, you know, nobody being on the street and, um, you know, uh, basically me being the only one working in the office the whole, like for months on end, which was bizarre because, you know, office is usually full. And obviously there was a whole lot of things going wrong um, for people who were getting um, infected with COVID, etc. as well, which wasn't good. Um, and it was just a completely bizarre time and it... I think the thing that this, just to tie the two things together, is that COVID's still here, even though I think the majority of us want it far in the rear view mirror. Definitely. It's it's still here and, and we know there's other waves coming back. So uh, let's hope it 
never gets back to the serious levels that we've seen in the past and let's hope that the variants don't become more i guess threatening to our population health and let's hope we can manage it and let's hope we can find cures for long covid but it's uh it's tough all round we i think what covid showed everyone globally is that we don't really know everything about these these types of diseases we've been lucky i guess with the flu that typically the flu doesn't create a pandemic uh but you know i think we're a lot wiser now to how lucky we probably have been over the years and that these threats exist